Good morning. Happy midweek. Well, last week we started talking about the nature of God, and today I want to talk about this idea of God the Father. What does it mean for God to be our Father? It means that as children, we knew that our Father was one who was supposed to provide for us, to care for us. We as children depend, depended on our fathers to raise us, to teach us right from wrong. Now let me stop right there and say, I understand physically that many of us did not have a physical father. But when we think in our mind's eye and we hear this idea about what a father should be, then we begin to understand what God is trying to infer to us when we address God as God the Father. We say to this God, I am your child. I seek my nourishment from you. I seek my way of being in the world from your, your examples. I turn to you for wisdom. I turn to you for guidance, God, my Father. In Matthew, when Jesus was praying and teaching the disciples to pray, his first words were, our Father. Even Jesus called God the Father. The Spirit that looms in our lives to protect us and guide us and keep us in care. This is the nature of God the Father as part of our Holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Find ways this week to discover ways that you turn to God as your father. God as a father that you wished you would have had. The good news is God is the father that you always need. Blessings to you, for it's in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit we offer honor and glory and praise to you. Amen.